My name is Q and um, yeah, this is another dope edition, a dope episode of Sync and Tune with myself, Q. Now, we are still hanging out with Moonchild Sinelli, talking more about her career. Go steady, go. Go steady, go. Go steady, go. So yeah, I think before we jump into another part two of Chazla Hip about your music the actual craft itself um, I want to know about the things that you kind of bring to life through your flow and what is your process because you're sick you're sick like just everything about you is just promising 
and I mean right like after this interview you have to rush to boarding school sure. so like what do you how do you what's your process like in your rap what do you talk about you know tell us a bit about the actual craft itself um honestly yeah music worker it's, it's so indescribable like it's more it's 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 even more powerful than I thought you know what I mean yeah it's different uh -huh. and I know every single artist says their music is different yeah but you see Mwanyana ona ushapas pa pa gavis. You understand? Like Mwanyana ona speed the motor. Mwanyana ona na li seventeen. You know what I mean? Like Mwanyana ona is on another level. My craft is just so indescribable. Like I can't. I really can't put it to words. It's more like utonto ube. And then once you hear it, you're just on another level. You're just on another high. You know what I mean? Okay. What do you talk about in the music though? Yeah. So my music is mostly about. I don't really pinpoint, uh -huh. but it's mostly about my life, especially my EP, The Truth. It's mostly about my life. Okay, that and explains, yeah. It's just my hardships. It's introducing you to Shaz. So if you don't know Shaz the Hippie, you'll know Shaz the Hippie after The Truth EP, you know what I mean? And then my next singles are just more vibrant, more appealing to people, more, especially the new single I'm about to release this year. My Big Bang of Can the 20 Can I hear it first? Can I hear it first? No, you will. Okay. Don't worry. I know you got me, girl. It's 2015, you know, like, it's just, it's a, it's a more quieto song, you know, I, mean? I don't want to give it away too much, but it's a more, it's got that quieto feel that, it's I know a lot of people are doing that whole quieto thing, but you know, it's got that quieto feel, it's, it's, it's a 2015 bang, I'm born, I share with you, Okay, talk about blowing your own horn, <laughs> talk about knowing how to sell your music, <laughs> talk about being, like, a businesswoman, like, where do you get all of this? Is it your mom who taught you how to be this? Is it, I don't know, is it being a kahi? So like, what do you think, you know, you owe your personality to? Because like, I, I grew up in a hard life, you know. To sum it all up, it's hardship. And I think it's how you take your hardships in life. It's either you learn from them um, or you move on. Yeah. I owe it mostly to my school too, you know what I mean? Like, Kruger stop, you know what I'm saying? Kruger you know what I'm saying? So I think it's everyone who, who plays a role in my life. It's everybody I meet on a daily basis. They made this, you know, they made this character that I am today. Tell us a bit about your process. With you know? me, it's, it's, um, my background is hip hop, jazz, and I'm a white one. Those are my, like, biggest influences. Yeah, my yeah. grandmother's place in white dance, and it's my cousins. Yeah. And I was there every weekend. My mom is a jazz musician. I grew up in a hip hop studio. My brother was a producer. So those are my strong influences. And then when I got to Durban, I got into music through the hip-hop scene. Like, I'd always lie and say I rap. Uh, which you kind of do. <laughs> well, Get the mic and then go. <laughs> Maybe you talk, you don't rap. You I, talk. I call it crap talking. Yeah. yeah some I kind of rap. Some it's conversation. Like, yeah. um, when I was working with um, Catalyst in Durban, right? Because yeah. I recorded between 2007 to 2009. Yeah. And there was like a soulful side and there was the electro side. And um, when we did like a couple of songs, like he would, he, he would sort of try to get me né, with the electro vibes because it was more soulful hip hop as well. Yeah. So he'd try and get me because he didn't, he wasn't fussy, he wasn't trying to be like, nah, I don't do this. Like mm -hmm. he was with me. So sometimes I hear something and I start seeing a cartoon character and I see a whole thing happening and then I'll be like, this is the sound I hear at this point, this is the sound, and then I'll write a song after that. So like I'll see like a picture. Sometimes I just know what feeling I need to get from it. So. Now that I work with Saban, I'll be like, okay, this is how I want to dance to it. And then okay. he'll make stuff happen. Yeah. Sometimes he's got something that's ready and I hear myself on it. Sometimes we do it together. Sometimes I write a song and hear everything in my head and then come to the studio and place it on, um, on what's this, metronome. Mm -hmm. And then he needs to come up with something. So, so it's, it's a feeling thing. Yeah. I've got a lot of, like, it's also quite imagery, um, fun. Mm. Um, we yeah. see that in the videos. What experience should they expect from Moonchild? If you were to articulate what you want people to take away from you, mm -hmm. from the music, what I want them to like, it's just like um, I call the album Khabulab, which is sip this. Yeah, ka yeah. yeah. So like it's, one. I can't. it's just a sip of knowledge with yeah. the different issues that I tackle. Yeah. Um, I want them to just be more aware. You know. Um, but not everyone will be. Not everyone. Not everyone's ready. Yeah. Yeah. 
besides the red, yeah. I mean, it's been very nice seeing a black crowd at my gigs now. Really? Because they actually understand what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. So the album's coming out next month in March. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be that the single's already on 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 radio. Yes, on Five. Hey. Yes. Shout out to Five FM for supporting uh, Cool Kids uh, and not saying it needs to be big on the streets. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. The 23rd is going to be, um, the hard copy is coming out on the 23rd of March. It's going to be in every store nationwide. Um, and the iTunes coming out on the 16th. Yeah. But there's like, um, I mean, a whole what's this process, the promotional process. Yeah. So, the how, how, how people are going to be able to find, get access to you putting it out there? Um, Someone who's interested in getting to know you now. They can go on iTunes, they can go on my Facebook, my child. Um, Essay, mm -hmm. then go on my Twitter, my child underscore essay. Yeah. Um, also on the Just Music West website, mm -hmm. which is justmusic.co.za, yeah. and then you get the artist there. Um, I'm going to be doing a very viral promotional vibe um, starting from this coming weekend. So it's called Kabulapa. Kabulapa, which uh, is coming this. out in March. Yes. So you know the deal. And a shout out to Just Music for recognizing something that's not obvious. You know, Hello. and not trying to it turn. It was very you. nice, dude. It was totally nice not be wanting to be changed. I mean, a label not wanting to change you or package you, you see, whatever. You yeah, know? and it's and quite cool because I had like two other experiences with other labels, and it's just like, nah. So yeah, that's it. We just uh, hung out and wrapped up a top interview with Moonchild Sinelli. I had so much fun. Thank you to Miss Shaz Lahipi, thank you to Miss Moonchild, and um, yeah, I'm cooking up a nice alternative music show, so stick around for the next episode. But otherwise, that is it with Miss Q on vocals and uh, the Black Nation family. Sinking tune, let's go. Let's be great. <laughs>